The main actors in this production of the New Testament are migrants. It's a political project by the Swiss director Milo Rao. Antony Noshuku is Nigerian. He's a Christian and he's playing an apostle. I joined this project because I believe it's very good for the Africans, for the immigrants who are here in Italy, who are working in the field and getting less. It is a project that combines art and politics in the European capital of culture, Matera, in southern Italy. Today is the day of the big rally. Antony dons his apostle costume and sets off for the meeting point in Matera's old town. Several famous films about Jesus have been shot here. This one is special. It depicts the life of Jesus, but will also be about a real-life protest, a march against the exploitation of refugees from Africa. Supporters have come from the surrounding migrant reception centers and towns. The posters are almost ready, and there's a relaxed atmosphere. The political protest is also part of Milo Rao's film. This is a real campaign for justice, led by migrants playing Jesus and his disciples. It is a revolt of dignity. The protesters are demanding fair working conditions and for residency permits for refugees. A life of dignity. Some local farmers have come to support the campaign. The tomatoes, red gold, symbolize major corporations. Crushing them means calling for an end to exploitation. It's an easy message to understand. successful in gathering people, helping them to listen because we help them to listen. You know, passing the message to them. I'm very happy and excited to be here. I think that the, the public has, has taken this message and that's why now we are together all of us. Locals, migrants and tourists, Muslims and Christians, all united against exploitation. It was very moving to participate in this demonstration. It was really powerful, beautiful. I've never seen such a sense of community. Generally, migrants live a long way from the city. Borgo Mezzanona is one of the biggest camps in southern Italy, with 2,000 people, mainly men, living here. Many of them are here illegally. They are seasonal laborers working for a pittance. They have to give some of the money they earn to the mafia. Antony arrived two years ago after his father was murdered by Islamists. Life here is just life of on your own. Nobody cares about you. Everybody, they are fighting for their own self. So when I arrived here, I started working. I started as a, as a barman. I was also going to the field sometimes. He no longer wants to work out in the fields. He wants to escape his predicament. The Casa Sankara is just a few kilometers away. Anthony has come to visit Erave and Umbaya. Though they are Muslim, they too are playing apostles in Milo Rao's film. They're both from Senegal and helped set up this center for refugees. 300 people can live here and the community has its own fields. 
Urve also helps refugees to find employers who are above board. And he puts people who do not have official documents in contact with lawyers. When people who are cleaning here, for example, or who make food, for example, they are all voluntary. Yeah, sure. They are yeah, working but for each other. Casa Sankara gives them room, gives them other things. We are trying to, to, to offer opportunity to other people to, to live uh, well, yeah. so better than the ghetto. That's very so nice. Could you imagine to, to stay here? Mm. Ah. You know, everybody with his own kind of life. Because I've been in, in ghetto, so I don't want to live. I don't see here as a ghetto. So to me, I don't want to live with people, more people, but I want to live alone, mm -hmm. do make my decision, do whatever I want to do. In the evening, there is another rally at the Casa Sankara. Yvonne Sanier, who plays Jesus in Milo Rao's film, is a famous campaigner for the rights of refugees. He blames the mafia. We have to say no to the corporals, to the criminal middlemen. We have to say no to the mafia. We have to say no to this system. Milo Rao hopes to contribute to political change with this film. He's not interested in religion, but in Christ's radical message, the fact that he campaigned for the oppressed and weakest in society. There can't be a good film about Jesus which does not bring in reality. Jesus' message was really interesting. He was a social revolutionary and said that the last would be the first. I asked myself who the last were today and they're in these camps, these people on the margins of society who produce tomatoes for us. That's when I said it had to be about them. Back in Matera, Anthony isn't shooting any scenes today. So he's going to do some sightseeing. I've never been to Matera before. It's, it was this project that brought me here. But seeing Matera today is kind of, it's a beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful mountain. You see houses down, you see houses up. Man, I like this area. Anthony got to know Alexander through the film project. Alexander is from Ghana, and he also plays an apostle. They talk about the cultural differences between Africa and Europe. If you're up to 18 years, normally European life, 18 years you can make your own decision. Yeah. Even, but in Africa, even 18 years, you can never yes, make any decision in front still, of your parents. Still a child. You're still a child. As long as you live under the same roof with them, man, you're under their pillow. Alexander has lived in Italy for 12 years. What I've learned here is what I'm going to use to treat my children. And automatically, my children will live with a different kind of perception of the society and a lifestyle. So that is part of our mission of traveling. We do not travel just because we want to uh, come here and uh, stay in ghettos or to go and harvest uh, Pomodoro or whatever it is. Our aims are different. Some of us came here with the intention that we can have possibilities to go to high schools. Because in my country, if you are not a rich man, you cannot have access to the high schools. You cannot go to university. When I arrive here, I will, I will continue my studies. But, you know, I was only unable to achieve that because I want to learn, I want to study. I want to study in the environment and in the European environment to learn more, to acquire more. After their discussion, Anthony starts thinking about his past. When his father was murdered, he decided to leave Nigeria and embarked on a perilous odyssey. When I got to Libya, I worked like a month and two or two, let's say a month. Then after which we were kidnapped, but the the one who brought me to Libya was kidnapped alongside with me. So we were imprisoned in an open hall, empty but filled with people. So we spent up to eight months there. One very lucky day, my a, a Gambian guy was able to chisel the wall up because there was a hole up there. I was part of the group that escaped. 
So the securities, they started shooting. A lot of people died in the scene. Even if maybe what I'm passing through is unfair, but I still give thanks to God. He was also beaten when he was in jail and still has visible scars. <sighs> These scars are not real. Jesus is being prepared for the stations of the cross and the crucifixion. Anthony is not needed on the shoot today, so he's just watching. In the afternoon, the crew goes up into the hills to film scenes that will represent Golgotha on the outskirts of Jerusalem. Both the Italian film director Pier Paolo Pasolini and US director Mel Gibson shot films here. Milo Rao is using some actors who starred in these films. Silencio. Silencio, per favore. Anthony spent two weeks working with the others on the set. It was an intense and time-consuming process. What was it like for him? It was a good experience to see different people, different religion, different way of life and different thoughts. So it was like a good experience to witness, to see them and to know more about them. Filming is almost done. What's missing is the resurrection. That will be shot in Rome. No moving around in the background, please. Azione. The crucifixion scene is dramatic. Maya Morgenstern, who already played the role in Mel Gibson's The Passion of Christ, is Jesus' mother Mary. Anthony does not know what direction his life will take now. He doesn't have a job, but he has an apartment. He's out of the ghetto at last. <laughs> 